Now the rest of this course was filmed between 2013 and 2015, and most of what we've covered in it has remained to be current knowledge to this day. But one place where there have been massive changes in our understanding is black holes. In particular, we've seen the first images of the Event Horizon from the Event Horizon Telescope, and perhaps even more amazing, we've seen gravity wave detections of merging black holes, which for the first time have really shown that they exist. So, this section of the course is new, it's an update about these two amazing changes in our understandings of black holes. Now I'm afraid Brian can't be here, since we filmed the rest, Brian has become Vice-Chancellor, i.e. boss of the university, and is far too busy. Also, I'm filming this under COVID-19 lockdown in 2020, which means I have to film at home, in my garden, and I can't even wear my normal waistcoat because it's locked in my office and I can't get it out. But anyway, hopefully this will bring you up to date on what we now learnt from the amazing breakthroughs in gravity wave astronomy and the Event Horizon Telescope. Now the next few videos were actually filmed back in 2014, before the first discovery of gravity wave. They're an interview with David McClelland, who's one of my colleagues here at the ANU, who's part of the team that went on to discover the gravity waves. And they're showing his lab and the research they're doing to try and make more sensitive equipment to pick up gravity waves. After that, we'll get on to some more videos covering the new stuff.